Hello and welcome to another episode of Super Kids and of course everyday special but it is Parents Day here in Korea and other countries like Albania. Pretty cool. In Korea, people, little kids of course, pin red carnations on their parents. Today I'm like a big red carnation. Of course we've got to be grateful to our parents for everything they do. Everyday special but today I kind of want to do something extra special, extra nice for mom and dad. And we've got some very special kids. Hey guys, where are you from? Oh, Elementary Let's start the show! Come on! Welcome to Seoul Techi Elementary School. It's a place for children as bright and beautiful as spring blossoms. Listen to the warm melodies coming from our Techi friends. The clear and delicate sound of the Tanzo are so lovely. Make the ball go hard and far. Our little players are swinging towards their dreams of becoming future golf gods. It's the moment they've all been waiting for. It's time to test all that knowledge they have acquired. Finally, the qualifying test has ended. See you guys on Super Kids! Mom, I'm going to go to the next school. I'm going to go to the n 갈고 닦은 여러분의 영어 실력을 슈퍼 퀴즈에서 마음껏 발휘해 보세요. 대치 초등학교 어린 여러분 사랑합니다. 사랑합니다. We're on the way to Super Kids. The Super Kids ship set sail in search of a long hidden treasure map. Our young explorers go on wild and exciting adventures in new lands. Who will be the last one standing? Are you a regular to the show? I mean, do you visit us every week or is this the first time? Well, just in case you didn't know, we need to find a school champion. That's right. Among all these great kids, we'll find one person standing at the end to try to become a super kid. So there are different rounds and eliminations that happen. First round, <laughs> no eliminations. Kind of a warm up where we have three teams working together. That's right, working as a team to see if my statement is true or false. Okay, guys. Whoever's the last team standing gets the advantage. Useful in the next round. Here is the first statement. Get ready. A giraffe has more bones in its neck than a human. Guys, talk amongst yourselves. Don't let the other team see you. Don't talk too loud. Get ready. I need to see your answers in five, four, three, two, one. They all say X. The answer is X. Yeah, apparently, a giraffe has seven bones in its neck, same as a human. Didn't know that. Long necks, though. Okay, second statement. Among the woodwind instruments, the bassoon plays the lowest notes. Among the woodwind instruments, the bassoon plays the lowest notes. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, little difference. Sun and moon say, oh, star says X. The answer is, oh! Okay, sit down, star team, sit down. Now. It's a battle between the two teams. We need to find a team standing alone in the end that gets the advantage in the next round. Next statement. 
If you fall during a marathon and receive help, then you are disqualified. Five, four, three, two, one. They both say, oh, the answer is? Yeah, that's right, very good. Very good. Sometimes, ah! Oh! Ah, don't wanna get disqualified, don't help me. All right, excellent. Next is about a tree. The oldest tree on earth is the ginkgo tree. <laughs> no way they know this. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> one says X, one says O, the answer is O! Very good. So, Moon Team, you have the advantage, and no one's eliminated, but we'll see a little red sticker on your numbers in the next round, let's go! Team play is over, it's finished. Now it's everybody for themselves. Fight, fight, fight. When the round's over, there'll be 10 people in the boat. We gotta wait three kind of sessions. Right now you gotta do battle against your former teammates. You can get a possible three questions, right? That's the best automatic entry. Two, probably gonna be moving on, and one, we'll see. Remember the advantage? That's the round. This is the round that, uh, that comes into play. Okay, now, to help us, delivering hats and feathers and mics and happiness is Reese. Hi Isaac, hi everyone. I'm back for another exciting episode of Super Kids. I wonder if our winner is gonna be in this group, but there's only one way to find out and that's by asking them questions. So let's get right to it. This grows about 0.3 millimeter every day. Before 1895 in Korea, people did not cut this. When people get older, they begin... Number four might know the answer. Let's see. Hair. Is that right? Yes, it is! Good job! Cover some of that hair with a nice hat. So now you get to choose, but behind one of these questions is a gift. Behind one of the questions is a bomb. Might even be the same question. Bomb means you cannot answer that question, but choose one, please. Three. In World Cup soccer, only the player playing this position can wear the number one on his jersey. Number eight, quick is to push down. Goalkeeper. Correct, very good. The only person able to use his hands, that's right, goalkeeper is the right answer. Choose away. Number two. Oh, nice. This is a math question. Please listen carefully. Isaac has chickens and cows living in his backyard. He has 30 chickens and cows in total. The total sum of all of the legs of the cows and the chickens are 96. Then, how many chickens does he have? Number eight. Does he know? 18. No. Number 10 is going to give it a shot. 12. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. What can I say? I like chickens. <laughs> okay, please choose one. Five. Five. 
Oh, that's a bomb. So unfortunately, you can't answer this next one, but maybe the next one after that. Here's the question. This is made out of concrete or stones to block water from a valley or a river. Wait a sec for the mic, number five. La vis. Number one's gonna give it a try. Hang on a sec, we'll get the mic to you. Dams. Gotta say that with a smile, or else I'd say, watch your language! <laughs> okay, please choose one. Four. For the computer, this is the smallest unit of information that stands for a number or a letter. Number two is gonna give it a shot. Bite. Oh yeah! Very good. That is the right answer. We've got one more left for you guys. Good luck to all. Let's see who moves on. This is a device that joins sheets of paper or similar material together. Stapler? You got it, number two. Very good. It's always nice to see a good competition. See those hats spread around. Now that team, very, very good. Let's see, there's one person who got two right. Is he in the boat? Yeah, indeed, number two, the first in the boat. Well, we've got to fill it up. Now this next team, the moon team, they have the advantage. Okay, let's see if they get some members in the boat. Reese, what do you think about this team? Well, they did really well in the first round, and I think they're gonna do pretty well in the second round too, as long as you guys listen really carefully and get ready because your first question is coming. This is a type of food that is commonly eaten in Korea, Japan, China, and Vietnam. It is also eaten during weddings to symbolize a long and happy marriage for the husband and wife. You might also eat it during your birthday to live a long life. What is this food? Okay, 15. Noodles? Yeah, very good, noodles! She has a hat and that Advantage sticker. They all have that. All right, let's go to the next question that she chooses. Number five. Number five. Whoa, a gift! In the book Gulliver's Travels, Gulliver used to do this for a living. In order to have this job, a person has to take the Hippocratic Oath. What was Gulliver's original job? Okay, number 12, we'll get the mic to you, see if you know. A judge? No, that's not it. Sailor? Uh-oh, not a sailor. Ooh, lady with a hat. Doctor? Oh, yeah! Hat and feather and advantage. No doubt she's going to be in the boat. Okay, choose another one. Number two. Number two. Oh, sorry, but you cannot answer this one. More opportunities coming, but take a rest. Everybody else, here's the question. This is a math question. Please listen carefully. Sumi's mother is four times older than Sumi. In 20 years, Sumi's mother will be two times older than Sumi. Then, how old is Sumi's mother now? 
Sumi's mother? Okay, 11. Good at math, we'll see. Um, 40. Yeah, he is good at math. All righty, sir. Please choose one. Four. This animal creates 280 liters of methane gas a day, which... Number 14, does she know? Cow. Cow. Absolutely. That's the right answer. All those stomachs making gas. Ooh. Uh, why don't you choose one real quick? Number three. A VIP is someone who is given better treatment than ordinary people because they are famous or special for some reason. What does the letter I stand for? 13, first, first to press it down. Important. Yeah. Very important person. Excellent job. Now we got one more question for this advantage group. Who will get the hat or feather or something? Let's see. This originally meant to ride a small flat boat made out of wood. Nowadays, it is a sport where you go... Number 12, gonna give it a try. Canoe? No. Wow, buzzers being slammed out. Easy all those buzzers! Okay, what is your answer? A uh, kai ka kayak? Ka no. Hey, easy on the buzzer! Yacht. Nope. Let's hear the rest of the hint, guys. Nowadays, it is a sport where you go on a rubber boat and ride down the fast-moving water of a river. Yes, number 11. We'll get the mic to you, see if you get more than that hat. Rafting. Good job! Rafting it is! The team with the advantage, very good job. At least, well, I would think two move on. L let's see the boat. Oh, yeah. It now has three. Now, I have a feeling that some of those folks that got hats from the advantage team, they'll be in the boat later on. We got to wait. We got to wait. We have one more round to go. Let's see who's sitting there on the stage with Reese. All right, we're with our final group, and they're going to have to battle pretty hard to get on that boat. So... Let's get right to the questions. Good luck, everyone. In the Korean alphabet, the shape of the letter Nian is thought to look similar to this. It is a body part that lets us taste things. What is this? Mouth. 29 is going to give it a shot. Let's see 29 if you know. Leak. No. Tongue. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. It, it, the neon uh, makes an N sound. N neon. Anyway, very good job. Hangul is amazing. If you get a chance, study it, folks. Um, yes, what would you like? Make us a choice. Two. This comes from the name of the Roman goddess of grains. It is a processed food that can be eaten as soon as you open the package. It is a grain food that is usually eaten with milk for breakfast. What? 29 is going to give it a shot. Hang on a second. 29. Cereal? Yeah, cereal. Such a good food. Little milk, a little cereal. Mmm. Uh, but cereals have so much sugar nowadays. All right, 
please choose a sweet uh, question. Sorry, please. Oh, man. Well, bad luck, but uh, maybe good luck after this question. Everybody else, good luck to you. This is a math question. Please listen carefully. There are 15 passengers riding a bus. At the next stop, three people get off and seven people get on. At the stop after that, two people get off the bus. Then, how many passengers are there now on the bus? 21, first to press down, is he good at math? Your answer is? 17. He is good at math, yeah! You know what to do, number 21. Choose one. Four. Yeah. This person is thought to have been a Greek slave. He is famous for teaching life lessons through fables where animals stand in for humans. Aesop? Yeah. I don't know if it's true, I actually heard that he was the oldest of 26 kids. Younger brother was Besop, and then there was Seesop and Desop and... <laughs> okay, uh, so please choose another one. Five. What is commonly found on the national flags for all of the following countries? Brazil, Turkey, Chile, China. 29, first to press down, he's got a hat. Will he get more? Star? Give him more! <laughs> that guy's probably going on the boat. We'll find out. One more question for this group. Go, go, go. This is a form of public transportation. In France, it's called the Metro, and in England... 29. Whoa. Okay, 29, you're on a roll already. You got a hat and a feather. If you get this next one right, you are going on the boat. What's your answer? Subway. Yeah, good job! The three groups have finished their battle. Let's see who's going on to the next round. Round two is over, now it's time to go to... Round three! Let's go! <laughs> ding, 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 round three begins, ladies and gentlemen. Now, among these ten, let's see who's going to battle whom. So that's how it's lined up. They're ready. From these 10, we'll get five. There are five spots waiting for them. We're gonna travel around the world, but before we do, uh, I don't know if it's because it's Parents' Day and I've got the carnation look or what, but Reese, 
Real little special. You've got that red carnation look and cowgirl. What's that? Well, I want it to look good too. What I'm wearing is traditional clothing from Russia. Now, Russia is a huge country that spans all the way from Europe to the Far East. So, I am wearing something that's called the sarafan, and it's what people in Russia commonly wear. Very nice. I need to just add a hat and I'll be uh, a great match. So now, let's spin the wheel. Let's go around the world. We gotta get two right to move on. Spin, spin, spin. It is. Now, this is an emblem from a special place. I believe this first question is related to this place. Take a listen. This emblem represents land that is considered a part of Denmark. So, politically, it is a part of Europe. But culturally and geographically, it is closer to North America. This is located between the Arctic Sea and the northeastern part of the Atlantic Ocean. It is the largest island in the world. Number two. Greenland. Is that correct? It is! Good job, yeah! Maybe this should be green and not blue. All right, you got one right. Advantage to you. We still got another question or two left. Here's the next question. In 1895, the German scientist Röntgen discovered these short electromagnetic waves. Because of their discovery, here's number two. X-rays. Is he moving on? Yes, he is moving on. Good job. All right, let's go somewhere else, or perhaps back to Europe. Spin, please. We're in Africa. Many countries around the world, including Korea, are trying to help African children who do not have a lot of clean water to drink. They are trying to help them by making these. This is made by digging the ground and drawing up groundwater. What is this? Number 30. Wells. Is that right? It is, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get that water, big problem. Okay, so we have another problem or question for you guys. Here it is. The ostrich is the biggest bird in the world. Although it cannot fly, it can run through African deserts and meadows very fast. That is because its feet are shaped differently from other animals. Which of the following is a picture of an ostrich's foot? A B C D 11 uh, A Is that the right answer? Yeah! I believe it's time to break the tie and send someone to the next round. Let's do it. This animal is one of the largest animals that lives on land. In the 19th century, this African animal inspired the English word jumbo, which means large. 30 pushed. Elephant. Is that right? It is, move on, go, go, go! Okay, two spots are filled. Let's fill another one, please spin the wheel. America. for the red corner. Red seems to be the theme today. Here's the first question. This country has a lot of different natural environments, such as deserts, 
glaciers, volcanoes, and wetlands. Easter Island, located in the South Pacific and famous for its large stone statues called Moai, is part of this country. It is the world's longest country and stretches north to south down the western coast of South America. What is... Yes, number 10. Chile. Is that right? Yes, it is, good job! Let's continue. Questions are ready. Here's the next one. Today, we're learning about the interesting and colorful world of Latin America. Before Spanish powers, there were many ancient civilizations that existed in Central and South America. Many of them believed in a sun god and left behind a rich and vibrant culture. It is a multiple choice question. Which of the following was not a civilization that arose in Central and South America? A. Aztec B. Inca C. Indus D. Maya 10 C. Indus Moving on! Go, go, go! Nice job! Okay. We have passed the halfway point. So far, the gentlemen are dominating. Let's see what happens next. Please spin the wheel. Before we go to America again, yeah. This is a type of boa snake that lives in South America. Their bodies are around 7 to 8.5 meters long, and they weigh at least 100 kilograms. It is one of the world's largest snakes, and also one of the world's most fierce animals. What is this? 14. Oh, a constructor? Is that the right answer? No. Yes. Anaconda? Uh-huh. That's right. I think there was even a movie about these fierce snakes. Pretty scary. Oof, I couldn't watch it. Okay, let's continue. Next question, please. The following is a multiple choice question. Which of the following cartoon characters was created the earliest? A. Mickey Mouse B. Tom and Jerry C. Snoopy D. Shrek Yes, number eight. A. Mickey Mouse Is that right? It is! No doubt in my mind, a lady will be joining the gentleman. Will it be 15 or 4? Let's find out. Please spin the wheel. You're up again. Let's go there. First question, ladies. Prick up your ears. They were active between the 8th and 11th centuries. With land running out because of population increases, these Norsemen from Scandinavia sailed to other parts of Europe and Russia to find new land. They were good at living on the high seas and rode boats that were long and narrow. Number four. Vikings. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is. Yeah, some were pirates. Big horns, rawr, scary. Okay, let's go to our next question. This is a multiple choice question. This city is half in Asia, half in Europe. It is one of the few cities in the world that is located between two continents. Number 15. Istanbul. Is that right? It is, very good. Nice.
It was a multiple choice, didn't need the other options. Boom, knew it, Istanbul, excellent. It's tied up, strong match, ladies. Here's the tiebreaker. Monaco is one of the world's smallest countries. 80% of people who live there are foreigners. There are especially a lot of very wealthy people who live there. And a big reason for this is because they don't have to pay any of this. This is an amount of money that the government takes from a person's... Number four. Tax. Is that the right answer, sending her into the final round there? Yes, it is! All right, the round is pretty much over. Before we send her away, I want to really say thanks to, to Reese for helping us out. Thanks, Reese. Thanks so much for having me. It was an awesome time here. And you know what? I think we're looking pretty good, both of us in red today, don't you think? Red power. Anyway, I had a wonderful time, and I can't wait to find out who the next Super Kid is, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Take care, red power. Okay, we gotta go to the next round. Let's go! Four gentlemen, one lady, they've made it to this round, a big round. You want to see who they are up close in person? Check them out. Okay, they all start off with 100 points. They've done a great job so far. And of course, they get more and more. Now their goal is to outscore everybody else. We wanna find a school champion. That person will have more points than anybody else. And if they get three in a row, they can get 10 more points. Now this is how it works. We've got categories, check them out. Some are very challenging, they're worth 30 points. Some are less challenging, 20, and then, well, they're all challenging, but the least challenging, 10. See the categories? We've got art and music and body, device things. My favorite, that's where we'll start, Global Friends. Hi, Super Kids. My name is Minso, and I live in China. China is famous for having so much different types of freezers. Many of the dishes can be fattening, but luckily people don't gain much weight because they drink this. The more you drink this, the more you can lose weight. It is said that people in China like to drink this at least 10 times a day. In hotels and even in trains, thermos bottles with this in them are always available so that people can drink it anytime. What is this that is common as water in China? Okay, number four. Tea. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Very good. Um, some tea has caffeine too, so you don't want to drink too much of this, but that is correct. Interesting. Okay, four. Parents day today. What special thing do you want to do for your parents? I want to wash dishes for my parents and I want to go amusement parks with my family. Ah, okay, very nice. You're leading right now. Since you got one right, you get to choose. Which category? Logic. Logic. The number one through eight is each assigned to one area of this image. If the total sum of the three numbers that make up each circle is 15, then what number does A stand for? Gotta figure out A. If the total sum of the three numbers that make up each circle is 15, 
then what does A stand for? We want to figure out that number. Number four. Four. Nope. Yes, number 30. Three. You got it. Okay, same deal. I have no doubt everyone here loves their parents. But to say, I love you, I love you, is one thing to do that is different. So what do you want to do for mom and dad today? I like to give them some massage. Okay, very nice. A little massage. Which category now? Please choose one. Proof. This comes from Latin. It is where a crime suspect can show his innocence by proving that he was at a different location during the time a crime took place. What is this? Yes, 30. Alibi. Is that what we're looking for? Yes, it is. Wow. Uh-huh. Very good. In the lead right now. I wasn't there. Uh, I was somewhere else. Do you have an alibi? That is correct. Okay, big points. 30 for that, 20 before, 150 in the lead. Where are we going next, number 30? Music. I we in Italian, this means in the manner of the church. It is a style of classical singing for a chorus where the singers are not accompanied by instruments. In pop music, the singers do not use instruments and instead use only their voices and beat time with their hands. Harmonies are important for this type of singing. What is this? Number two. Choir. Is this right? Ah. Number 30. Chorus. No. Yes, number 10. Acapella. Is that the right answer? 30 points! Nice job. Boom. Put that guy on board. Very good. 30 points for you in the category of music. So what would you like to do for mom and dad today? Um, I would give them gifts. Like? For example? Uh... Sing for pencil? them? A pencil? <laughs> I think that's what you get on Children's Day. This is Parents' Day. Right now, let's jump into a category. Which one would you like? Myths. She was the first woman on Earth, according to Greek mythology. She had with her a box, which the gods warned her never to open. But she could not resist her curiosity and finally opened the box. What is... Number eight. Pandora. Is that the right answer? It is, yeah! Good job. Very good job. 20 points added to your 100. And same question for mom and dad. What do you want to do? I'll help cleaning house. Help clean the house. Yeah. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Choose a category now. Body. This means to overreact. It comes from Greek words that mean reaction. When you have this, your body overreacts to certain special things or foods, such as fruit. Number four. Allergy. Is that the right answer? I believe it is, yeah. Of course, in springtime, because of that pollen and the flowers and stuff, your body might go crazy because of an allergy. Okay, four. Actually, let me just pause for a second. Let's look at the scoreboard. Still very close. Anybody's game, but number two has 100. Four's got 130, tied in second place. Very close behind is eight with a 120. 10, it's got 130 and 30 in the lead, 150. We've got a couple questions left. Where are we going, number four? Sayings. What is the word that commonly fits in all the blanks? Blank will wear away stone. All blank 
runs to the sea. Blood is thicker than blank. Number 30. Water. Is that the right answer? Uh-huh. It is. It is. Okay. Two categories left. Where are we going, number 30? This could be the last one. We'll see. Device. It's a big one. The last big, big one. Okay, 30 points device. This was first introduced in 1939 at the New York World's Fair and buried underground. There was one that was buried in Korea in 1994 and it will be opened 400 years later. It is a strong metal container filled with items that represented a specific time period. Number two. Time capsule? If he's right, 30 points added to his 100 on the board. Is he right? Yeah, he is. Very good. <laughs> Fabulous. Nice, tight battle. Everybody on the board. Now, you guys can do the math. Last category's worth 10 points. That means it doesn't matter. We don't need it. Number 30 is the school champion. Congratulations. <laughs> Will we find a super kid today? I certainly hope so. So we gotta call out our champion, our school champion, please come out. Sugu, come on out! Yeah. All right, here you go, this is your spot. So, how do you feel? Nervous. A bit nervous, understandable. Did a great job. What was the most challenging round for you? The final. The final round. Well, here you stand, school champion. Now, please tell us something that most people don't know. Obviously, we know you're smart. Uh, something special about you. Um, I like collecting hats. Collecting hats? Ooh, like, uh, I don't know, top hats? Or what kind of hats do you like? I like collecting baseball caps. Nice. Okay. So. Now we want you to collect a big super kid gift. You gotta choose one of those colors. All right, red seems to be the theme today. Go ahead and open it up. Red like a carnation you might pin on your mom or dad. What are the two hints written inside that red scroll? Ticket booth and profit. Okay. Ticket booth and profit. So you're gonna hear some hints related to this, ticket booth and profit. Keep this in mind, listen, and I'll give you 10 seconds. Hopefully you get the right answer and boom, you get to bring a very nice gift home to mom and dad. You ready? Okay, here we go. This is the place or booth where tickets are sold for an entrance fee. It also refers to the amount of money brought in by people watching a movie or a theater performance. This word is also used to rank how popular current movies are. What is this? What is it? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. Gotta hear the right answer. Go ahead and guess, say whatever. 10 seconds. Oh, time is up. The answer is box office. Box office. Well, Singu, great job, school champion. You still get to bring a gift home, just not as great. Anyway, thank you for watching. We had a great time. Did you guys have a great time? Yeah! All right, hopefully you did too. Happy Parents Day here in Korea and wherever you are around the world. And to moms and dads, we've got to say something. One, two, three. 
We love you! Bye-bye! See you next time. We gotta go! The Super Kid wins a laptop computer. The school champion, a Nintendo Wii. Second place, MP3 players. Super Kids is sponsored by Avalon English, your English cornerstone.